Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be your weekend forecast. Well, all signs are reading your weekend forecast for Saturday and Sunday um, for this weekend. So um, you can have any of the zodiac signs in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mars placements. I will go from Aries to Pisces in that order. I will also get zodiac signs you could be dealing with, but not limited to, as well as guidance for all 12. Um, please take what resonates. Leave the rest if it's not your story. Please do not try to make it fit. Um, roles can be reversed as well. And everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law and cause and effect, okay? Um, if you need or want to get a private personal reading with me that is tailored specifically to your energy and or your situation, my email is in the description box below. Um, don't forget, on the 29th of February, I will be doing uh, my giveaway for two of my subscribers who will get free readings with me. It's about a 20-minute reading, um, so make sure that you're subscribed for that. And I will be going live Tuesday, which I believe is the, I think that's the 27th. It's Tuesday um, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? These were going to be a little quicker on the messages. Um, i got to go cook dinner, but I wanted to go ahead and get it done so that way you guys can have it. Um, so they're going to be a little quicker, but I feel like they will be um, kind of short and sweet to the point, okay? All right, let's get started with Aries. One, three, four, okay. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements, okay? What is going on for you this weekend? Two cards, one card for Saturday, one card for Sunday. Here we go. Saturday, you have the Eight of Swords, so you're overthinking everything. You're really stuck in your head or somebody around you could be. There's something that you might be seeing online that could be bothering you as well. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to say what to do, but maybe consider your caffeine consumption. You might be very um, it might make you very anxious if you have too much like caffeine or energy drinks or soda or something like that. So keep that in mind. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. One second. Hey. <sighs> or someone that's around you is really stuck in their head, okay? Sunday, Ten of Swords, okay, okay, so, okay, you could be done with an air sign, I got Aquarius and Gemini here very strongly, um, somebody here is leaving the situation, maybe packing up things and leaving based on what they see online, or maybe you're finding a new place and moving, but it's somebody here is overthinking something. Ten of Swords can talk about a, a, a pretty significant ending. So there's might be a need for you to consider really uh, taking looking after yourself this weekend. It doesn't. It feels it. It feels kind of intense, honestly. Maybe you're stressed about somebody leaving home. Um, or you know, moving out, you're moving out, something like that. But there's something about being stuck in your head about it. There's a, a serious need to, um, or you know, a consideration to really look after yourself this weekend, especially your mental health. Okay, all right, moving on to uh, Taurus 334. Okay, all right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. What is going on for you this weekend, Saturday and Sunday? Saturday. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, and then we have the Magician. Okay, so you feel overwhelmed and burdened about something that you have to do. Um, you Okay. You feel very stressed. You could also be making things more difficult than they actually need to be by overstressing things or overdoing it. Or overworking, possibly. You might need to take, like, a nap possibly and then by Sunday though you have the magician you've manifested something a new way a new way of being and you manifested a way out of some type of burden this weekend so you're almost there but it's you're not quite there yet but you will be at least by Sunday you feel you feel magical maybe or you feel powerful or you feel like you can do anything you overcome something on from Saturday okay okay that's, not, that's pretty good actually all right, uh, Gemini, four, four, seven, okay. All right, let's see, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. What's going on for you this weekend, Saturday and Sunday? One card for Saturday and one card for Sunday. 
Saturday. Okay, Nine of Cups. And Sunday. Okay, the Cozy Witch, the full card. All right. And it says, um, for Saturday, you have the Nine of Cups, okay? You're grateful for getting what you want. You could also be going out and celebrating with people. Um, getting some type of wish fulfilled here for a new beginning on Sunday. So whatever you've been wishing for on Saturday is what's going to happen on Sunday. It looks like you get a fresh start. And you're celebrating that. Okay. You're getting a fresh start, a new lease on life, a restart in a, possibly a relationship or a friendship or family dynamic. But it makes you, you're getting what you wanted. Okay. Okay. Or somebody around you is getting what they wanted. I hope that helps you. All right, so uh, Cancer, I saw five, five, five. Okay, this is okay. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. Okay, what is going on for you this weekend, honey? Saturday and Sunday, one card for Saturday and one card for Sunday. All right, Saturday. Okay, we got Saturday and Sunday. All right, so on Saturday, you have the Page of Cups, so new beginnings or maybe possibly an apology, and then by... Um, Sunday, you are focusing on maybe reading something, studying, okay? You could be starting a blog on Sunday, or you're writing something, or you're studying something by Sunday. But it's a, you, it almost feels like you're being inspired by something or someone. You could also be going by the ocean, or you could live by the ocean. I mean, I know it's kind of cold right now. It's not quite, you know, ocean weather yet, but you might just be... Going by the ocean, having some coffee, getting, taking a quick, you know, weekend or day trip maybe, or we can give away or get away. And then by Sunday, it's inspiring you to um, maybe start a blog or to study something or dig deeper into um, this inspiration. It, it, you are, you're being inspired this weekend to do something, but it has a lot to do with studying. Also communicating. So it could be something that you're writing about online. Okay. I feel like you might be a blogger or maybe starting a blog, but you're being inspired. Is that like that? Okay. All right. So that's pretty good. So it kind of feels kind of low-key cancer. So I kind of like that for you, actually. Also, the full moon in Virgo is at peak illumination, I think, Saturday. So maybe it's a good time to relax, you know. Uh, who am I on? Oh, Leo. 747. Okay. Okay. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placement. Let's see what's going on for you this weekend. Wow, that was not a good shuffle. What's going on for you this weekend, Saturday and Sunday? One card for Saturday, one card for Sunday. Your weekend forecast. Saturday, you have uh, Six of Wands. You're kind of a big deal, so start acting like it. So you're getting recognized. Maybe you're going shopping with friends. And then by Sunday, you have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. You're looking for change. Be careful with overspending this weekend. Um, every blessing will give you uh, eventually be returned to you. So be careful if you're going shopping. Be careful with overspending because you might end up regretting it on Sunday. But then also to be I heard be the energy that you want to receive. Equal give and take. You got six of swans and six of pentacles. Equal reciprocity, equal give and take in affection, attention, recognition, and acknowledgement. But again, also be careful with your spending over the weekend, okay? Okay, I like that. Not bad. All right, Virgo, 902. All right, Virgo, this is your full moon weekend. I hope you're doing well. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mars placement. This is your weekend forecast. Let's look at Saturday and Sunday. Show me Virgo this weekend. One card for Saturday and one card for Sunday. All right, Saturday we have the Six of Cups and uh, Sunday we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So it says give yourself the compassion you were never given. So you're being compassionate with yourself but also with others. Someone could be giving you flowers or, you know, giving you, if they're not actually giving you flowers or you giving someone else their flowers, um, it could be just giving someone the props that they deserve. Um, you're also going to be very lucky on Sunday about something. You might want to wear like a good luck charm or some type of talisman on Sunday. What is that Sunday about? 
Eight of Wands. Light a fire, fire underneath your cauldron and go, go, go. A lot of communication. Lucky communication or a lucky break happens on Sunday. But it's because you gave somebody else their flowers that you get to receive yours from the universe. You gave somebody props and a job well done. You told them good things. And because you put it out there to the universe that you gave that gift to someone else, you will, will be receiving that some way, somehow on Sunday. Okay? I like that. Okay, that's very nice. Okay. All right. Um, Libra, 10, 3, 8. Okay. So, okay. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. I hope you're doing well. This is your weekend forecast for Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Show me Libra this weekend, please. Show me Libra this weekend, please, Spirit. One card for Saturday and one card for Sunday. All right, so we got Saturday and then Sunday. Okay, so Taurus had this. Um, if you're done with the Taurus, they have this in the exact same position for Saturday. So you are you feel overwhelmed of kind of burden here about making a decision. You're going to need to ground your energy this weekend so you can make a clear, well-informed decision. If you're overwhelmed or get too stuck in your head or and overloaded with burdens, you're not going to be, you won't make a decision that's based on um, calmness. You'll, you might make a decision. Be careful of making decisions when you're upset or overwhelmed or anxious. Ground your energy here, okay? Be Also be careful of making things more difficult on yourself than what is necessary. Take care of yourself this weekend, okay? Because I feel like you might make a decision that you later can't uh, possibly take back or cross watch your room, right? Okay? So be mindful of that. So really kind of just take care of yourself, okay? All right, Scorpio, gang, gang, what's up? 1201, okay. <laughs> Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mars placements. Let's, this is your weekend forecast. Let's see what's going on for you this weekend for Saturday and Sunday. Let's see. So what's going on for Scorpio, please, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday? What's going on for Scorpio this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, honey? They told me, okay, not taken from the middle. Tell me to cut for you. Top or bottom? okay so Saturday you have the ace of swords okay it says look at you you're bursting with sparkling new ideas so you're getting communication downloads information and the truth on Saturday absolute clarity and for Sunday you also have the seven of Pentacles nurture what you have and see how it grows and grows you're getting some type of idea about business or finances about you possibly could be receiving receiving a return on your investment that you've been possibly waiting for but you are getting new ideas. Write them down. I wouldn't share them with anybody just yet. Um, and then start planting those seeds. Also, you might be looking into your finances over the weekend as well. One more. Two of Wands. Your decisions decide your future here. Nothing else. Okay. So you're going to have to make a decision on what you want to invest or not invest uh, over the weekend. Do you want to continue investing in this in a relationship, a job, a friendship, a family dynamic, or not? You're going to get the truth about something, though, a truth about a decision that was made, um, maybe that you didn't realize, and you, then you're going to have to make a decision yourself. I don't feel like you're going to make a decision just yet over the weekend, but you will be making a decision at some point. When you don't know, don't make a decision until you have all the information. I feel like you're getting some type of information over the weekend, though. What's that Ace of Swords about? Knight of Swords. About some type of harsh truth. Which is only going to propel you to go even harder onto what you want and love. Into a, into a future. That's what it looks like. About getting truth about an argument. Possibly with a Taurus. Are you getting this truth from a Taurus? Virgo or Capricorn? Somebody may want to collaborate with you as well regarding whatever it is that you do for work. Okay. New creative endeavor, maybe some type of collaboration as well. Okay, someone's either someone's going to give you the truth or you're going to receive some type of communication from someone that maybe you haven't spoken to in quite some time about some form of collaboration on Saturday, okay? 
I hope that helps you. All right, let's see. Or maybe you're reaching out to somebody for a collaboration or speaking to someone. All right, Sagittarius, 1508. I hope that helps you, Scorpio. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. Um, this is your weekend forecast for Saturday and Sunday. All right, Spirit, please show me Sagittarius, Saturday and Sunday. Sagittarius, weekend forecast, please. Saturday and Sunday. Show me one card for Saturday, one card for Sunday. Okay. Well, you're showing up in your own reading. All right, so by on Saturday, you got five of swords. says you can't be right all the time. You and two others are arguing about something. If there's been an argument that you've been, a continuous argument that you've been having with someone, by Sunday with the temperance card, it says let go of self-imposed limitations. It looks like you're healing the situation. Something's coming back into balance regarding some type of conflict. Be careful of, this could be an Aquarius, also you. Be careful of an Aquarius or somebody else, or this is you, trying to win at all costs, even at, even, even to forsake a situation, a friendship, a family dynamic, or relationship. Whatever it is, it feels like you're going to heal it. However, there needs to be balance, equal give and take, but also um, seeing another person's perspective. Okay. Oh, I'm not bad. All right. I hope that helps you. All right, Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. I hope you're doing well. This is your weekend forecast for Saturday and Sunday, honey. All right, let's see. Spirit, please show me Capricorn this weekend. We can forecast for Capricorn, please, for Saturday and Sunday. Capricorn. Saturday and Sunday, honey. Okay, they don't want me to take uh, from the deck, uh, the middle of the deck with you. Um, that also happened with Scorpio. So, y'all definitely check out your other placements, okay? All right, top or bottom? From the bottom. Okay. So Saturday, you have King of Pentacles. That could be you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, true success just isn't about money. It's about happiness, too. So what makes you happy? Is it fulfilling? Maybe you want to start a business. Do you want to continue doing it or not? Or open up a new business? And then Sunday, you have the Empress. There is beauty to be found in every experience. Okay. Someone of you can be finding out that you're pregnant. For some of you, you could be getting married. Possibly over the weekend. And it makes you very happy. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, um, Libra, Cancer. Something's making you incredibly happy. For some of you, you could also be giving birth. Or seeing your children, possibly, okay? I hope that helps you. All right, Aquarius, 1817. Okay, let's see. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. I hope you're doing well. This is ooh, your weekend forecast for this weekend for Saturday and Sunday. Let's see. What's going on for Aquarius? Okay, so Saturday, that one came out in reverse. Says that's the the devil card, toxic witches, and it says. Be cautious of those who take more than they give, but in reverse. So you're not giving to a situation anymore. Um, that's for Saturday. On Sunday, you have two of cups. Some people are like the pumpkin to your spice. I feel like you're letting go of a toxic connection over the weekend. Um, you're, or you, you've, you don't want to be codependent on somebody. And you don't want somebody to be codependent with you. You could also be meeting with friends or like-minded people to talk about your decision to walk away from a connection. You're definitely not let someone's addictions or toxicities affect you anymore, so that's good. I almost feels like you're making the right decision. It feels like you're, um, let me see. Mm-hmm, Three of Wands, you waited a long time to do this. It says, put yourself out there and you'll be rewarded one way or another. Like, I feel like you're looking towards the future and you don't feel like the future is here with whomever or whatever this is. Okay, Aquarius? All right. It's a hard decision, but I feel like it's a decision that kind of feels like you're being forced to do. Like you, you waited, you tried, you tried, 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 and something just isn't panning out with this individual. Somebody here isn't healing or something like that. I hope that helps you. 
So just stand true to yourself and take care of yourself over the weekend, okay? All right, Pisces birthday baby, 2005. Okay. Happy birthday, Pisces. I did a standalone video for you as well. Um, uh, definitely check that out. It's a standalone Pisces love reading. So definitely go check that out, okay? All right, let's see. All right, Pisces sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mars. Happy birthday, sweetheart. And uh, sweethearts, male or female, doesn't matter. Um, this is your weekend forecast for Saturday and Sunday. One card for Saturday, one card for Sunday. All right, Saturday, we have the Eight of Swords. I think Aries had that. And then Sunday, you have the Three of Wands. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries possibly, but not necessarily. So on Sunday, you are overthinking it to the point of a migraine. So also be careful of caffeine or the energy drinks or soda if you drink that consumption. Or you might need to drink some coffee to get rid of a migraine. You might have, or too much screen time could be affecting your eyesight um, on Saturday. So you might need to, you might have a really bad migraine, honestly. You're stressed about deadlines. But again, you might, it's, you're, you're stressed, you're, you've got a headache, a, a possibly a very strong migraine on Saturday. Okay? Um, but then by Sunday here, though, you feel rested, you feel rewarded, you're going out there, you're venturing, seeing the future, moving forward. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords, though. Six of Swords, all of War Witch, it's time to write a new chapter. Yeah, you have something stressing you to the point where you just want to run away. Maybe you're taking a trip, possibly. But it, whatever this is, after you get some much needed rest, maybe you take some time away from the computer. Maybe just take a little short day trip or something after you get the migraine under control. And it gives you like a, a sense of refreshed energy or renewal, right? And then you're able to see better options or a, better, a brighter future by Sunday. So that's not necessarily bad, right? You're going to be rewarded for making a change. You could also be leaving a situation that's very um, just irritating, stressful or somebody you know is doing that okay um let's see zodiac signs you could be dealing with but not limited to okay let's see okay all right let's see all right aries who could you possibly be dealing with over the weekend uh gemini taurus what about you libra gemini who could you possibly be dealing with over the weekend aquarius um, Cancer, who could you possibly be dealing with over the weekend? A Leo. Um, Leo, who could you possibly be dealing with over the weekend? Capricorn. Um, Virgo, who could you possibly be dealing with over the weekend? Leo. Libra, who could you possibly be dealing with over the weekend? Aries. Okay, that's your opposite sign. And Scorpio, Gemini. Sagittarius, who are you potentially dealing with? Aquarius. Uh, Capricorn. Also Aquarius. Aquarius, you've got two. You can be done with an Aries and a Libra. Aquarius. And Pisces, who are you potentially dealing with? Scorpio. Okay, cool. All right. Um, guidance. 2346 is what I got. Okay, let's see. All right, guidance, please, for all 12 zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces in that order for the weekend. Guidance, please, for um, all 12 zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces in that order for the weekend spirit, please. Okay. Guidance, please, for all 12 signs from Aries to Pisces. All right, here we go. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so Aries, your guidance is um, step out of your comfort zone. Taurus, yours is balance, spirituality, and practicality. Um, Gemini, yours is the end of a tough cycle approaches. That's awesome. Um, Cancer, yours is you're very close to achieving your goal or goals. Okay. Leo, yours is have faith in your dreams. Virgo, yours is what do you need to release, Virgo? Okay. Libra, yours is show the world the real you. Scorpio, yours is hold your vision. 
Uh, Sagittarius, yours is the answers you need are coming. Um, Capricorn, yours is a fiery climax approaches. Careful of arguments, okay? Um, Aquarius, yours is your dreams need a practical plan. And Pisces, a time to give rather than take. And they want me to do one other thing for y'all. They want me to give some love guidance too. Okay. Okay. They just told me to do it. Okay. All right, which is 25, 36. Okay. Yeah. All right, Spirit, can you please give, since you wanted to do it, let's do it. All right. Can you please give me some love guidance for the weekend for all 12 zodiac signs? Love guidance for all 12 zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces, please, Spirit, in that order for the weekend. Love guidance, please. Two more shuffles. One. And here we go. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, here we go. All right. Aries, your love guidance is past life relationship. You have known each other before. Taurus, yours is trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Gemini, yours is new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Your feelings or someone else's? Uh, cancer, you got pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay. And Leo, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. Virgo, yours is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay. Um, Libra, yours is hard to hurt conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Scorpio, flirt. Um, extend your light-hearted energy to others. Flirt with your person. Or if you're single, flirt with um, new people, maybe. Um, if you're single. All right, Sagittarius, you've got let your friends help you, Sagittarius. Ask for and accept support from others. Capricorn, you got codependency. Um, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, Aquarius, you've got engagement. Your love life is extending to a higher level of commitment. Potentially. And it was a Pisces. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay. And for everybody, we got release your ex. It says it's time to clear to clear your energy. All right. Well, that's what I got for this weekend's forecast. Kind of short, sweet, to the point. I hope that helps you. Happy full moon. Um, to, I think it's the peak illumination is tomorrow on Saturday. But I love you guys so much. Please take care of yourself. Um, I will have the, you know, I will see you guys. Um, oh, don't forget, I'm going live on Tuesday um, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit all notifications that we know the next time I upload. I love you guys so much. Please take care of yourself. Until next time, bye.